Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. As I said before, we're going to continue making that connection between vectors as matrices or as intuples in terms of linear algebra. And so here we're going to talk about the vector norm, or what we talk about uh, in, in another way of saying it is the magnitude of a vector, the representation of a vector in calculating its magnitude. This is stuff that you've probably done in another class in the past, but we're going to use the notation of linear algebra so you can get used to the idea of representing a vector basically as a list of numbers, which is a matrix, which is what we call an intuple in linear algebra. So uh, let's draw a few pictures first because I think pictures make things very, very easy. When we have a general vector, two-dimensional vector, let's stay in two dimensions for a while to make it easy. So there's the x-axis, there's the y-axis. And um, we have some vector, which remember means magnitude and direction. So the length of this arrow, the length of it represents the magnitude. That could be the magnitude of the force. It could be the velocity of the wind. It could be anything that has a magnitude or a strength associated with it. The direction the arrow is pointing obviously represents the direction that that wind is blowing or that that force is pushing or whatever other vector it is you're talking about. So we're going to represent this vector as the lowercase a with a bar on top. That's typically what's done. And in this particular case, the tip of the vector here is located at the point 2, comma, 1, right? And that's how, we decide, that's how we represent where the arrow is pointing. If it's pointing down here, then the numbers that is, are associated with the tip of the arrow will be different. Now, the way we analyze vectors, and we think about physics and such, is you look at the projection of this vector along the x-axis. And in this case, this uh, dimension from here to here from the origin, this is 0, uh, is 2 along the x-direction. And if we look along the y-direction here, uh, this is the number 1. So you see what we do is when we represent a vector on a coordinate axis like that, really all we care about is the tip of the vector, the base of the vector is anchored at the origin. The tip of the vector is free to move about. That basically tells us how strong our force is or whatever and what direction it's pointed in. And the way we map it from numbers into pictures is we say, all right, what is the x-coordinate of this arrow? What is the y-coordinate of the tip of this arrow? And we represent this as a pair of numbers. All right? And then because we can say that there's an x and y component of every vector in the xy plane like this, represented by 2 and 1, then we can say that the vector a, we represent it as a vector a, usually in a physics course you would see it re, uh, written down as 2 in the i-hat direction, plus 1 in the j-hat direction. Now this i and j business, is don't get too confused by that. All that means is the i goes along with x, and the j is a unit vector.